Today I'm going to discuss the importance of the gut microbiome on estrogen metabolism. In my previous video, I discussed estrogen metabolism in the liver through what's known as phase one and phase two of estrogen metabolism. The metabolism in the gut is known as phase three. So let's get started. Here is my diagram of the inside or the lumen of the small intestine, the lining of the gut, known as the gut epithelia, and the blood vessel. After your hormones are metabolized in the liver, some of the conjugated estrogen is excreted into the bile and dumped into the small intestine. The bacteria in your gut, known as the microbiome, play an important role in regulating circulating estrogens. These estrogen metabolizing bacteria are referred to as the estrobilome, and they secrete an enzyme called beta-glucuronidase, which breaks down the conjugated estrogen, allowing it to be reabsorbed by the gut and then into the bloodstream. So much like the rest of the microbiome, the estrobilome is easily influenced by factors such as diet, lifestyle, antibiotic use, history of vaginal delivery or not, age, and alcohol use. If there is an imbalance in the gut bacteria, which we refer to as dysbiosis, there can be an abundance of the beta-glucuronidase producing bacteria, which leads to elevated levels of circulating estrogens. This may upregulate estrogen-driven diseases, such as endometriosis and certain estrogen-dependent cancers, such as endometrial cancer and breast cancer. This is a particular concern for postmenopausal women and men when circulating estrogen should typically be low. On the other hand, a lack of microbial diversity can result in lowered beta-glucuronidase activity, leading to lower estrogen levels. This becomes of interest in postmenopausal women who already have naturally low estrogen. And we know that low levels of estrogen have an impact on bone health, cognitive health, gut health, and women's health. So depending on the individual, their age, and their condition, you want to find the optimal balance with estrogen metabolism. You don't want too much, and you don't want too little. We are just starting to uncover the impacts the gut microbiome has on various conditions through modulating estrogen levels. One review published in 2017 explored how the alteration in circulating estrogens may contribute to the development of various conditions, such as obesity, metabolic syndrome, breast and endometrial cancer, endometrial hyperplasia, endometriosis, polycystic ovary syndrome, fertility, cardiovascular disease, and cognitive function. While further research is needed to further understand how modulation of the gut microbiome can influence estrogen-driven disease, one thing is certain. The gut is important. It is a piece of the hormone puzzle that we cannot ignore. As a functional medicine practitioner, I always take into account someone's dietary and gastrointestinal health when investigating hormone-related issues. Sometimes I will measure beta-glucuronidase levels in the stool and support the gut accordingly. That concludes my explanation of phase three of estrogen metabolism. Stay tuned for more hormone and digestive health videos. Thanks.